Hello there! In this video we're going to be talking about what is Moncrief's algorithm, aka the Hungarian algorithm. Well before we start working in an example, let's see where the algorithm originated from. In the year of 1957, it was developed and published by Harold Kuhn, who gave the name Hungarian method because the algorithm was largely based on the earlier works of two Hungarian mathematicians. This algorithm helped solve the assignment function. You're probably thinking to yourself, what is the assignment problem? Well, let's look at an example. For this example, we have Santa and his three elves. Each of his elves charges a unique price to each location they travel to. The aim for Santa is to find a combination of which elf should travel to each location in order to keep the total price for him the lowest. This in the simplest form is the assignment problem. This is what the Moncrease algorithms will help us solve. Okay, the first step is to form a matrix with the prices. After performing the first step, we want to perform the second step which is row reduction. In row reduction, you want to circle the smallest value in each row and then subtract each row by each value. So in our case, we subtract the first row by 200. And then we subtract the second row by 200. And then finally, in the final row, we subtract it by 140. Now, on to step 3. We perform column reduction. Similar to row reduction, we do the same thing with the columns by subtracting the lowest number in each column. So the lowest numbers are currently circled. So we subtract the first two columns by 0, hence it stays the same. However, the last column we subtract it by 100. Now for step 4, we check if we are done. Now we need to see if we can put little lines as possible that go through the zeros and account the number of lines. In this case, we have 3 lines. The algorithm is only complete when the number of lines are equal to n. In this case, the number of n are the number of elves. So step 4 is complete. Do you remember our original matrix? With our original matrix, our next step is to make sure we select 0 that is the only one in its column or row. So in the first case, that 0 is by itself in its own column or in its own row. However, the 0 in the center it's not by itself in its own column or row, hence we move on to its neighbours of zero. Both of these are either in its own row or column, hence they are chosen. So the selected zeros from, our, from the matrix we worked on is then mapped onto the matrix with the prices. This gives us the solution to the Simon problem. So to summarise, Elf 1 will be travelling to Boston, Elf 2 will be travelling to York, Elf 3 will be travelling to Hanoi, giving us a total price of 640. Okay, this solves the assignment problem for when n equals 3. Now let's look at another example where Santa has 4 elves and n equals 4. So similar to the first example, we perform the same steps. For step 1, we do row reduction. So for row reduction, you want to circle the smallest value in each row, and then we subtract each row by each of its smallest value. Now with column reduction, we do the similar thing to row reduction. We circle the smallest number in each column and take away that smallest number for the whole column. In our case, the matrix stays the same because the lowest number in each column is zero. Step 4 is to check if we are done. So now we need to put little line as possible that go through the zeros and count the number of lines. So you, as you can see we can draw 3 lines on our matrix. However this doesn't equal to the number of n. 
So now what? Well, in this case, we have an additional step. The next step is to add the minimum value that goes through the lines. So in our case, the minimum value in this matrix is 60. So we add 60 to all the values to go through the current lines, those three lines we formed in the last step. So for the next step, we need to find the minimum value and subtract the whole matrix by that minimum value. In this case, the minimum value is 60. So we subtract the whole matrix by 60. The next step is the same as step four. We, we need to see if we can put the same little as possible lines that can go through zeros and count the number of lines. So now we have four lines, which is equal to the number of ends. Yes, yes, you can celebrate, but we're not quite done yet. With our original matrix, our next step is to make sure we select zero that is the only one in its column or row. Now we map those zeros to the new matrix we just drew in. This gives us the solution to the Simon problem. So to summarize, Elf 1 goes to Hanoi, Elf 2 goes to Bath, Elf 3 goes to Boston, Elf 4 goes to York. And that's giving us a grand total sum of £430 and one happy Santa. Ho ho ho! Ho ho! Ho ho ho! So before we end the video, here's the pseudocode of the Hungarian method. Using this pseudocode, we're going to try to work out the time complexity. The co and column reduction each take order of n. The next step represents iteration. With each iteration, the number of matches we can form increases by 1. So in the worst case, it requires n iteration to do it all. Hence, this means the number of iterations is order of n. The time per iteration depends on how we draw the lines. To draw the lines, we go through each zero in the matrix and apply the lines to cover the most of the zeros in the matrix. At most, there could be n squared zeros. So it takes the order of n squared for each iteration. And so it takes an overall order of n cubed. The last step runs in order of n also. So the time complexity of the algorithm is n cubed. This video was done by Carlos and Senti. Thank you for watching our video.